All right, welcome back to another group break uh, video post. This is the third box in the break. We opened the tops opening day box first. Remains of that. Last night I opened up the Bowman box and the skeletal remains of that. And so we have three boxes remaining. We have our 2015 Gypsy Queen. We have 2015 Tops Museum still. And for tonight, we have 2015 Panini. I'm trying to figure out the lighting situation here. Panini uh, Diamond Kings. The Diamond King set or box is, there we go. It's a box that I've never opened. Uh, I don't even know the history of the Diamond Kings brand since Panini kind of took it over. Um, I actually know basically nothing about this other than the box says uh, that there's game use memorabilia in here. Um, it's a 200 card set. You get eight cards per pack and there are 12 packs in the box. So that's all I know about it. And I figure what better way to kind of start to figure out what the set's on up and open it live. And then I, uh, as usual, we'll try to go through it in a little bit more detail once the cards are open and post some of the scans and other information that I maybe learn about it on my blog, um, which you can find at uh, fanofreds.blogspot.com or simply searching Nacho's Grande Blog. So we open up the box. I'm going to this down a bit more now. And you can see the packs are all standing up in this. So it looks a little bit more impressive than it really is. There's the empty box. And these are my packs. So uh, again, I'm just going to kind of rip through these. I have a busy day at work tomorrow, so I actually am hoping to get these done fairly quickly tonight. And uh, yeah, the packs themselves feel uh, they feel a little different. They're not they're foil. But they're not, uh, I don't know, like a, a, it's more like a matte finish or something. It just makes the it, that tactile, tactile experience uh, nice. It makes it sort of feels, I don't know, special, if you will. So uh, the cards themselves are actually not too bad. Um, I don't know if the lighting situation is not working out for me these two days. I want to try to do it this way, though. Um, Kind of a painted look there, and uh, of course they don't have a, a team license, um, so they have to say things like Brooklyn rather than Dodgers. Um, but this, of course, is a Dodger, and our first card out of the box is Duke Snyder. We get a lot of retired players in this set. Uh, maybe all retired. I'm not actually sure. Kirby Puckett for the Twins. Rogers Hornsby for the Cardinals. They're very thick. Uh, cards, they feel they feel good in the hand. Uh, Pee Wee Reese, Dodgers. There are uh, minis. It turns out this is a Tony Gwynn mini for the Padres. There are inserts of some type. This is an insert uh, known as the Little General Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench for the Reds. So that goes to me. Uh, Chris Bassett. This is a rookie card, so there's some newer players, I guess, in this as well. And he's uh, an athletic. And finally, we end with Melvin Mercedes for Detroit. So that's the first pack. I'm going to try to keep the inserts and the minis separate so I can show those off in a future blog post. You don't get any um, logos in this set, of course. Uh, we have, what do we have in the middle here? We have a giant dummy card. Nothing. Just plain white. So, all right. We have an aficionado, Mike Trout. This is an insert of some type for the Angels. Again, I'll try to figure out where all these inserts are. Uh, but for now, we're just opening cards. Uh, let's see. Jorman Rodriguez for the Reds. 
Ryan Ryu, Rua, Ryan Rua for the Rangers. Corey Kluber, Indians. Charlie Blockman, Rockies. Joey Bats for the Blue Jays. Joe DiMaggio, Yankees. And Nelson Cruz as a Mariner. Um, looking at the cards, I have to say they're pretty nice, actually. Um, weird that pack did not have a mini. Um, trying to see if they tell me how many minis. Uh, the print's so small. I'm not going to take the time to try to figure that out today. We'll, uh, we'll worry about that another day. We have in pack three Brock Holt for the Red Sox. Honus Wagner, Pirates. Just watched the Reds beat the Pirates uh, earlier today. George Brett, Royals. Yep. Mookie Betts, Boston, Red Sox. Wee Yin Chen for the Orioles. Uh, we have a DK Originals, Diamond Kings Originals. Mike Trout for the Angels. Numbered one in that set. Uh, nothing serially numbered or anything on there. Nonetheless, um, for the Cubs, this is Matt Zuzer, S-Z-C-Z-U-R. I have no idea how you say that. And for the Twins, Kenny Vargas. So those are that. I do believe that we're guaranteed a hit in this box. Um, we'll find out, I guess. Bill Dickey, Yankees. Matt Adams, Cardinals. Ty Cobb, Detroit Tigers. Uh, Tommy Hendrick, Yankees. We have a framed Milwaukee Braves. Warren Spawn. It's a framed. It's like a Gypsy Queen frame. It's actually the frame itself is, is raised up. That's a sharp looking card right there. That actually looks like a piece of art. Uh, that's a nice one. Favorite card out of, the, uh, out of the box so far for me. Not that anyone cared. Uh, Hall of Fame Sluggers insert Jimmy Fox. For the Philadelphia Athletics, I believe. Um, let's see here. James McCann for the Tigers. And Dilson Herrera for the Yankees. So that finishes off that particular pack. Put some of these upside down in my piles. Let's get those going in the right direction. There we go. All right. We have another dummy card in this pack. They're really trying to fool you, thinking that you got a hit when you don't. Anthony Rendon starts us off. Nationals. Ichiro for the Marlins, Miami. St. Louis grabs Mark McGuire. The White Sox get Luke Appling. The Nationals land Steven Strasburg. The White Sox get Andy Wilkins, Corey Spangenberg for the Padres, and Carlos Rivera for the Mariners. So that particular pack didn't hold anything of note. You know, these are all just base cards. Uh, I have no idea if there's any short prints or anything like that in the set. Uh, again, I'll try to look into some of that stuff once the cards are all open and I write the blog post for now. Oh, I think we have our hit in this pack. I think. Yes, we do. All right. Let's, uh, we'll get to it here. We have George Springer, Astros, Lefty Williams. There's a name you don't hear very often uh, for the Cubs. Ken Boyer, Cardinals. Sam Crawford, Tigers. 
Roger Maris, Yankees. And saving the hit till the end. Daniel Corcino, Reds. Trevor May for the Twins. And our hit is a dual relic and autograph. It's a sticker auto. It is numbered 133 out of 299. And it is of Brandon Finnegan of the Royals. Brandon Finnegan of the Royals. That is, and I don't know if you can make it out in the back there, but it's numbered out of 299. Um, it's a really nice looking card. Let me flip this light on and see if that helps at all. So you can see that a little bit, maybe make out the number there. Really sharp looking design, actually. Uh, two different color swatch or bits of cloth, I should say. Just white and gray, but it looks good with the with the card. Um, it's a it's a nice card. I have to say, I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. So um, that's good for me because I have to lean down to see my screen here. Yeah, no one claimed the Royals, so that one. Uh, one goes to me. Moving on, let's see what else we get here. All sorts of goodies uh, exist. We've got uh, Felix Hernandez for the Mariners, Jose Altuve for the Astros, Paul Wiener, Pirates, Nelly Fox, Chicago, uh, Walter Aston Mini for the Dodgers. So, very nice mini card there. We have a also known as Nolan Ryan. Um, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Oh, no, it does say good. It says Texas. It's going to say it looks like Texas, but uh, it does say Texas on the side there. So that's going to the Rangers. Keep that with the other inserts. Rosny Castillo for the Red Sox. And Matt Clark for the Brewers. Never heard of him. There are in this box or possible a lot of swatches and Mickey Mantle stuff and prime materials and all sorts of other goodies. So who knows what we might also uncover. We uncovered another dummy card. All right. For the Dodgers, Don Drysdale, Colin McHugh for Houston, Joe Cronin, Boston, Herb Pennock. For the Yankees, I guess. Miguel Cabrera for the Tigers. Another aficionado card. This is Yasiel Puig. Insert for the Dodgers. It's our second one of those that we've pulled. I think. I thought. Yep, there it is. We pulled Mike Chow earlier. Uh, Kendall Graveman for Oakland. And Jake Lamb for the Diamondbacks. Finishes off that pack. I have to admit, I uh, didn't know what to expect out of this box, and I'll tell you this right now, I wouldn't mind opening a box this for myself. Uh, I don't like the fact that there's no um, logos, uh, but I do like the fact that you get a lot of different players that you don't usually get cards of, certainly not lately. So, uh, Gary Carter of New York, Eric Hosmer of Royals, Mike Trout, Angels, Troy Tulowitzki for the Rockies, Madison Bumgarner. This is a parallel of some type. It's numbered 53 out of 99 on the back. Again, I'll try to look up what kind of parallels and stuff those are when I do my blog post. A DK Originals. This is our second one of those. Yasiel Puig for the Dodgers. I pulled a couple of those now. Daniel Norris for Toronto. And Christian Walker for Baltimore. Finishes off that one. I'll have to go back to those base cards carefully and make sure I didn't miss any other parallels. Because that one didn't really stand out too well. Just happened to catch them and I flipped it over. Carlos, Carlos Gomez, Brewers. Manny Machado. Orioles. Todd Frazier for the Reds. Starling Marte for the Pirates. We have another framed card. This one is going to the Twins. Harmon Killebrew. Second framed. These are really nice. 
The frames are nice. I like those a lot. We also have a Hall of, Flame, Hall of Fame Slugger card, Babe Ruth. Kind of sick of Ruth, but uh, still nice for the Yankees there. Um, here's Brandon Finnegan's base rookie card and Carson Smith for the Mariners. Two packs are made. This one feels thick. Probably going to have a dummy card in it or some kind of good card. Nope, it's a dummy card. So I could tell that it felt thicker than the normal cards anyways. Bobby Thompson, New York. Babe Ruth, base card, New York. Lou Gehrig, New York. Lefty Old Duel, Philadelphia. Salvador Perez for the Royals. Anthony Ronaldo for the Red Sox. Terrence Gore for the Royals. And RJ Alvarez for the Padres. And that leaves one last pack. This one is also thick feeling. Uh, whoa, this one is really thick. That is not a dummy card. Well, let's get look at that last. All right, let's see what we got here. Andrew McCutcheon, Pirates. Justin Upton, Padres. Jose Abreu, White Sox. Robinson Cano. Mariners. Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks. Uh, Jorge Soler, there you go, Chicago Cubs. Matt Barnes for the Red Sox. And this gigantic card is a patch. It actually looks like it has a bit of a number or a letter on the one side. And then it has just what appears to maybe be a hat on the other side. It is number 9 out of 10. No, serially number 9 out of 10. And it is a studio portraits of Steven Strasberg of the Nationals. That's cardboard hogs claim the Nats. And that is a beautiful looking card we've got over here um that really looks like it's numbers or letters or maybe even stitching off of a hat possibly over here this is a uh, what appears to be a thicker red than maybe a regular jersey hard to tell for sure neither window is really big and on the back that's number nine out of ten it is monstrously thick for what it is and this is a studio portraits. And if I can figure out quickly, since it's only numbered out of 10, they can't, they can't be very common. Uh, studio portraits, frame, red, no, that's not frame, red material, blue material, green material. Black material. It just says it's numbered to 15 or less. That's not very helpful. So I don't know how rare it is. Um, but yeah, that's a nice looking card. So you can see the, get that close to the camera so you can kind of make out the stitching there and then numbered 9 out of 10 on the back. That's a nice, nice hit. And funny that it was in the last pack of the box. So we ended up with two hits out of this box. I think we were really only promised one, this dual relic and our other dual relic that also had a sticker auto on it. Um, just beautiful, actually. Uh, I have I have no complaints. I'm, I'm actually shocked at how much I like this set. Uh, I don't understand the inclusion of the minis. You only get two minis in the whole box. So good luck building the mini set if that's your thing. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's a it's a nice set. Um, a lot of new player stars and a lot of old players and a lot of rookies. Um, I, you really can't go wrong with this. Um, the price, I actually forget what I had to pay for the box. I don't have my receipt handy. Um, I know it was way under museum collection and, you know, those certainly this Strasbourg is a is a hit worthy of museum collection. So, um, and the other one's a 
dual relic with an auto, even though it's sticker, you can't complain too much about that either. So yeah, that's a that's a fun box. I'd say this break is going well. We pulled two orange refractors in the Bowman box uh, last night. So if you missed that, check that out as well because those are crazy rare, and we did uh, we did really well there too. So uh, I'm going to call it a night tonight. I'm going to try to get some of this stuff posted tomorrow, some scans. If I get the chance, I have a really busy work day though, so I might have to take a, a night off from the group break. Um, uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.